For decades, the scientific consensus has been clear. Africa is the cradle of humanity, the place where our species first emerged before spreading across the globe. But what if this fundamental assumption is wrong? The digital reconstruction of the Yunxian II skull presents evidence that may challenge this Africa-centric model of human evolution. With its unique combination of features linking it to the Homo longi lineage and potential Denisovan ancestry, this million-year-old fossil suggests that Asia might have played a far more central role in human origins than previously thought. The story behind this discovery begins with what initially appeared to be worthless fragments scattered across a cave floor. Deep in the limestone caves of Hubei Province, China, archaeologists in 1990 uncovered what appeared to be nothing more than scattered bone fragments. The remains had been crushed under millions of years of geological pressure, transforming what was once a complete skull into an unrecognizable pile of ancient rubble. The Yunxian II specimen looked so severely damaged that many researchers questioned whether it held any scientific value at all. Traditional reconstruction methods proved completely useless against the extent of the damage. The skull had been so thoroughly distorted by fossilization processes that standard techniques for piecing together ancient remains simply couldn't work. For years, the fossil sat in storage while scientists debated its worth. Some dismissed it as too fragmentary to provide meaningful insights, while others argued it might contain important evolutionary information if they could somehow see past the crushing damage. The breakthrough came through cutting edge digital reconstruction technology that could peer through millennia of geological destruction. Scientists employed high-resolution CT scanning equipment to map every single fragment, no matter how small or seemingly insignificant. The process created a three-dimensional digital puzzle containing numerous individual pieces. Each fragment had to be carefully analysed and positioned using sophisticated computer algorithms that could account for the warping and distortion caused by geological pressure. Light-based Imaging techniques complemented the CT scans, revealing surface details that traditional photography couldn't capture. The virtual modeling process required months of painstaking work as researchers fitted each fragment into its original position. Advanced geometric morphometric software analyzed the spatial relationships between different skull regions, gradually revealing the underlying structure that had been hidden for so long. This reconstruction work was part of a broader effort to understand middle Pleistocene fossils and resolve what scientists call the muddle in the middle period of human evolution. When the digital reconstruction neared completion, something unexpected emerged from the data. The skull didn't match the characteristics typically associated with Homo erectus, despite initial assumptions based on its age and geographic location. The reconstructed cranium displayed features that seemed completely out of place for any known early human species from Africa. The combination of primitive traits alongside surprisingly advanced characteristics created a morphological profile that challenged existing evolutionary classifications. The fully reconstructed skull revealed distinctive flattening patterns in the facial structure, while the rear portion displayed unusual broadening that didn't align with African fossil specimens from similar time periods. These features created a unique morphological signature that forced scientists to reconsider their understanding of human evolutionary pathways. But the most intriguing aspect was how closely these reconstructed features resembled another mysterious fossil that had been puzzling researchers for decades. That fossil was the Dragon Man's skull discovered in Harbin, northeastern China. Homo longi, as scientists named this mysterious lineage, represented something entirely unexpected in the human family tree. The Dragon Man possessed a massive brain capacity that rivaled modern humans, yet existed hundreds of thousands of years before our species supposedly emerged from Africa. Scientists had spent years trying to understand where Dragon Man fit within established evolutionary frameworks. The skull displayed features that seemed impossibly advanced for its estimated age. 
Its massive brain case combined with sophisticated facial architecture defied simple classification within existing hominin categories. Researchers found themselves grappling with a specimen that possessed modern level intelligence capabilities while predating the supposed African origins of complex human cognition. The digital reconstruction of Yunxian II revealed identical morphological signatures that connected it directly to the Homo Longi lineage. Both skulls exhibited the same distinctive flattening across the facial region, creating a broader, more horizontal profile than typical African specimens. The posterior cranium displayed characteristic widening patterns, while the enlarged brain case measurements exceeded 67 cubic inches in both fossils. These shared features created an unmistakable morphological link spanning nearly a million years of evolutionary time. Comprehensive phylogenetic analysis involving over 100 cranial specimens from across the globe positioned Yunxian II firmly within the Longji cluster rather than traditional Homo erectus classifications. The statistical clustering analysis revealed that these Asian specimens form their own distinct evolutionary branch separate from both African Homo erectus populations and later European Neanderthal lineages. Detailed analysis of cranial measurements demonstrated significant morphological divergence from contemporary African hominins. The connection between these specimens suggested that Dragon Man represented far more than an isolated evolutionary experiment. Instead, the evidence pointed toward a widespread and successful Asian population that had maintained consistent morphological characteristics across vast temporal and geographic ranges. This Longji lineage had apparently been thriving throughout East Asia for over a million years, developing sophisticated cranial features independently from African populations. Yunxian II provided crucial evidence demonstrating that Homo longi constituted an ancient and successful human lineage with extraordinarily deep roots throughout East Asia. The fossil record now indicates that sophisticated human populations had been evolving complex cranial features across Asian landscapes long before similar developments appeared in African fossil sequences. This discovery forced scientists to confront a troubling reality about a specific period in human evolution that had been confounding researchers for decades. The period between 1 million and 300,000 years ago had earned an embarrassing uh, nickname among paleontologists, the muddle in the middle. Uh, scientists found themselves completely baffled by what was happening to human evolution during these crucial millennia. According to traditional evolutionary models, this time frame should have represented a straightforward transitional phase between primitive Homo erectus populations and the eventual emergence of modern humans. The fossil record, however, painted a drastically different and far more complicated picture. Multiple large-brained hominin species were apparently thriving simultaneously across different continents, creating an evolutionary puzzle that completely defied the expected linear progression from simple to complex. Instead of finding evidence for gradual change within a single lineage, researchers discovered distinct populations with advanced cranial features coexisting in Africa, Asia, and Europe. These discoveries challenged the fundamental assumption that human evolution followed a neat, orderly sequence of species replacement. Yunxian II's precise placement within this temporal framework revealed something remarkable about evolutionary timing. At least three major human lineages were actively diverging. During this period, the ancestral populations that would eventually give rise to Neanderthals, Denisovans, and modern humans. Rather than representing separate evolutionary experiments occurring in isolation, these groups appeared to be branching from common ancestors much earlier than previously calculated. Advanced dating analysis dramatically restructured the timeline of human divergence events, though these revised dates represent significant revisions to previously accepted timelines and remain subject to ongoing scientific debate. The split between Denisovan and Longji lineages now appeared to have occurred much earlier than traditional models suggested, while Neanderthal um, divergence was also pushed back considerably. These proposed dates fundamentally altered scientific understanding of when major human evolutionary branches first separated from each other. 
Though the uncertainty inherent in reconstructing such ancient evolutionary relationships means these timelines continue to be refined. The Middle Pleistocene was actually witnessing rapid diversification and experimental evolution across multiple continents simultaneously. East Asia emerged as a particularly active centre of evolutionary innovation, where various hominin populations independently developed in large brain capacities and sophisticated tool-making technologies. Archaeological evidence from sites across the region demonstrated parallel technological advancement occurring without direct African influence. The coexistence of these diverse lineages suggested something even more complex than simple species divergence, than extensive gene flow and interbreeding were creating intricate webs of genetic relationships rather than maintaining distinct species boundaries. Population genetics modeling indicated that these groups regularly exchange genetic material, resulting in a mosaic of evolutionary traits distributed across geographic regions. The supposed muddle was actually a period of explosive evolutionary innovation with multiple human lineages simultaneously exploring different adaptive strategies across diverse environmental conditions. These findings raise fundamental questions about the established narrative of human origins that had dominated scientific thinking for generations. The out of Africa hypothesis had shaped scientific understanding of human evolution for generations, establishing a clear narrative about our species origins. According to this dominant model, all modern human populations descended from African ancestors who migrated outward in successive waves, replacing any earlier hominin groups they encountered. This framework treated discoveries outside Africa as either evolutionary dead ends or simple extensions of African populations that had ventured into new territories. Under the traditional interpretation, fossils like Yonkshian II should have represented either extinct offshoots of early migrations or evidence of later African-derived populations reaching Asia. The model assumed that significant evolutionary developments occurred primarily within African populations with other continents serving mainly as destinations for these advanced groups. Any sophisticated features found in non-African fossils were attributed to African innovations that had spread through migration and replacement. Jungian II's classification within the Longi Denisovan lineage potentially challenges some of these assumptions by suggesting that major evolutionary developments may have been occurring independently across Asian landscapes. The phylogenetic analysis positioned the Asian Longi lineage as an earlier diverging sister group to Homo sapiens, indicating possible parallel evolutionary pathways rather than simple African dominance. This relationship suggested that Asian populations might have been developing advanced cranial features through their own evolutionary processes. The revised dating pushed the split between Longi and Sapiens lineages back to approximately 1.02 million years ago, extending the timeline of human diversification by roughly 400,000 years. These earlier dates meant that sophisticated human ancestors had already established themselves throughout Asia long before traditional out of Africa migrations were supposed to have occurred. The chronology indicated that Asian populations were evolving complex traits independently rather than receiving them through African contact. Archaeological evidence from multiple East Asian sites revealed technological and cultural innovations developing without African influence, supporting multi-regional evolution models, where different continents contributed significantly to human advancement. The genetic legacy of these ancient Asian lineages persisted through extensive interbreeding with later populations, meaning that modern humans carry substantial DNA from these early Asian groups. However, many scientists remain deeply skeptical about whether morphological evidence alone can overturn decades of genetic research supporting African origins. Some experts argue that fossil shape is not always a perfect indicator for human evolution, and the recent African origin model remains the most widely accepted theory among researchers. 
while this research contributes to ongoing debates about multi-regional evolution. The scientific consensus still largely favours African origins, though with recognition of more complexity than previously understood. The morphological evidence from Jungsian too adds important nuance to our understanding of human evolution, revealing that the story may be far more intricate than simple linear models suggest. The digital reconstruction of Yonxian II represents a significant contribution to ongoing scientific discussions about human origins. This ancient skull suggests that Asia may have played a more important role in human evolution than previously recognised potentially challenging, simplified models that viewed non-African regions as merely peripheral to the main evolutionary story. The morphological connections between Yonxian II and the Dragon Man lineage add compelling evidence to a growing body of research indicating that human evolution involved more complex and geographically diverse processes than traditional linear models suggested. However, significant limitations remain in interpreting these, these findings. The extreme age of these fossils makes it impossible to extract ancient DNA evidence which researchers acknowledge would provide crucial genetic confirmation of the proposed evolutionary relationships. The scientific community remains divided on the broader implications of this work. While some experts find the morphological evidence compelling others maintain scepticism about drawing major conclusions from fossil shape alone, particularly when challenging well-established theories about human origins. This research represents an important piece of evidence in ongoing debates rather than a definitive answer to questions about humanity's evolutionary journey.